Hey there, Leo. This is Renee. Welcome back. Leo, this is going to be a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, so let's take a look at your energy. Let's jump right in. I'm looking at all the snow outside. It's so beautiful. It's all stuck to the, to the tree limbs. Can't wait for it to go, though. Okay, let's get some energy for Leo. We have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay. At the bottom, we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay. There may be some kind of situation that you're going through where, you know, you're kind of doubting yourself, but you're kind of feeling like you have the need to trust the situation, but you kind of regret the way things are going because things may be doing a lot of changing right now. There may be a lot of changes that you're going through, Leo, but I feel like saying trust the process. Because those changes are leading you into, you know, a different reality. It's changing into, you know, more opportunities, maybe a better situation. Okay? Yeah, we have facade. Wow. And we have renewal. Okay. So, Leo. Okay. I feel like you're having a hard time trusting because there's someone, someone around you who is not telling you the full truth. And I feel like you're looking for some kind of new beginning. You may be looking to end the situation and just start over, you know, because I feel like, you know, there's someone who's just not being honest in your situation. It feels like an illusion. It feels like something can't be true. You know, maybe you found out something or something was revealed to you and you like, Regret how the situation is going, but you have the need to trust trust the situation because you want to start over. You know, um, let's get more messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Let's take a look at the tarot. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Star card. Yeah, a lot of healing. And moving on. Wow. We have the Empress. The Tower. There's that change we were looking at. And the King of Swords. Clarity. Yeah, you're finding out about this situation. This may have to do with family or friends. Someone close to you. Someone that you think a lot about. Or someone that thinks a lot about you. Um, it could be someone that you may have dealt with in the past or may have come through through your childhood but i feel like it's someone that you know very well okay it's someone that you didn't quite think would put you into this situation you know because we have this we have the six of pentacles here and we have the star card. So we know that there's some kind of situation that need, is in need of balance. And you are going through some type of healing, some kind of a rejuvenating situation to where you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your healing, on moving into a more calm state a better situation you know you have the need to you know find this balance and healing and get back on your right path okay because i feel like you know there there's something that is kind of giving you that push and pull leo it's giving you the feeling of not being balanced, of not having equal give and take. You see how he's holding a cup here, holding a cup down there. Something is imbalanced. Something, you know, is a little off. Okay. And I feel like you, you kind of feel 
that something's off. Um, and you're, you're trying to set things right. You're trying to move into that feeling of getting back your balance, you know, taking time out for yourself so that you can move back into the right direction. Because I feel like here we have the, the Empress, the Tower, and the King of Swords. So I feel like, you know, there's something that was beautiful. There's something that was very giving, maybe even manifesting some kind of situation for you. And that manifestation has started some kind of change, some kind of situation to where maybe it wasn't built on solid ground, which is very unlikely because the Empress is like the, you know, the creator of manifestation. She is just able to manifest whatever her heart desires. And I feel like that's kind of what you did. Maybe you were manifesting something that may have turned out to be an illusion. Okay. And I feel like you are finding the answers that this illusion just wasn't real. It just didn't give you all of the information that you needed at the time. Okay, because I feel like this tower, this tower is a bringing, bringing a lot of change. And, but it also may be freeing you from the situation. It may be freeing you from this person who is putting you through this facade, this illusion. Okay, um, because I feel like you're, you're, Becoming more stable because you have a better understanding. Things are becoming clear. You are ready to take action. You're ready to lower that sword and just be done with it. Okay? So, um, I feel like whatever is happening, I feel like you, you're you going through these changes. And I feel like these changes are bringing you some sort of freeing. Um, ability. It's like freeing you from the situation. And for some reason, it's just not clear to me yet. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards. Get more into this reading for Leo. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me a message for Leo. Someone in Rising and Venus, give me a message for Leo. What does Leo need to know about this situation? Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. The Ten of Cups. The Lovers. The Queen of Swords. The Four of Swords. And the Six of Cups. So now we've had the Six of Cups twice here. Hmm. Oh, we had the Six of Cups at the bottom of the other one. Okay. We have the King of Swords again. So something is definitely becoming clear. But look on this one. Look on this one. On this one, he's holding the sword up. He's getting a better understanding of the situation. He's understanding how the situation is moving. On this one, what did I say? He's lowering the sword. He's done with it. You know, he's putting an end to his confusion and he's now taking action. He's now came into this value, valuable information that is helping him through the situation to bring more clarity, to bring more um, satisfaction. Maybe not looking towards the past, but now he's looking towards the future. Okay, so very interesting energy here. Um, with this King of Swords. Okay, now we have 1010 10 here. And we also have the Lovers. So I feel like what's coming through is you becoming more balanced. Okay, with 1010, 1010 10 are angel numbers. And I'm going to pull some angel numbers at the end. So I'm very interested to see what your angel numbers are going to be. Okay, with the uh, Six of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you're laying your burdens down. You're only accepting what it is you can handle. 
You're not accepting all of these burdens, all of these responsibilities. You're only accepting what you are responsible for. And that may be the, these regrets. Okay, maybe there's regrets that you're just thrown on the floor. And you're like done with it. I've had enough. You know, and you're just accepting what it is you're responsible for. You're taking the responsibility for your actions only. Okay, and I feel like with this healing, things are becoming more clear. But you're able to find your happiness and contentment because you're going through this healing moment. You found that, you know, you are the only one that can make yourself happy. And through that healing, you are finding that contentment, finding that peace of mind. Okay, so I feel like, you know, with this chariot card and the lovers, you may be moving towards, excuse me, you may be moved, moving towards a new love situation. A new love situation may be approaching you and may not have come into your life just yet, but I feel like you're moving towards this lovers. So sometime in March, I feel like there's going to be some kind of love situation or you may be falling deeper in love. Okay. Um, with this Empress card, we have the Queen of, of Swords. So you're you're fully understanding something that is happening um the actions that we're taking or the actions that you were taking are becoming more clear and i feel like they had a purpose there was a reason why you had to take action and i feel like you had to do it to protect yourself from this tower moment you had to protect yourself from um this drastic change but i feel like you know this four of swords this can also be freedom feeling relaxed focusing on yourself focusing on your healing on your blessings okay so i feel like there's something that you're focusing on and i feel like you're focusing on something that's bringing you a lot more clarity on maybe past events Okay, you're fully understanding how things transpired, why things had to happen the way that they did. Okay, that is the message that I'm getting for you. Um, things are becoming a lot more clear in your situation. Okay, let's get an outcome for Leo. Let's get an outcome for Leo. What does Leo need to know in this situation? Give me an outcome, please. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Death Card. What did I tell you? You had to put an end to something. You made the, uh, the hard choices to walk away from a situation that was bringing you pain, that was bringing you a lot of sorrow. And you decided to end the situation and start fresh totally transform the situation look what we have on the bottom very interesting change a turning point things moving in your favor you know you're making this turning point you made this decision to change and i feel like it's it's moving you into a better situation because you made this choice to walk away from what you know is not a good situation because you're looking for your happiness. You're looking for that happy ever after. Okay, so let's see. Let's get, let's get an angel card for Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? Give me a, a message for Leo. Okay, we have... It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for the good coming, 
for the good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Wow, okay. Okay, let's get a manifestation monology card. What does Leo need to know, please? Manifestation monology. What does Leo need to know? Okay, two want to come out. Speak your world into being. So spirit wants to let you know to speak something into existence. Don't hold your manifestations to yourself. Speak good, positive things into your life and speak whatever it is that you want into existence. Okay? Trust all will be well. So spirit wants you to wants to let you know that it is going to work out. You just need to have faith and be inspired to trust, okay? And then take inspired action. You know, he doesn't want you to sit still and wallow in some kind of regret and some kind of, you know, feeling of sorrow because something didn't work out the way you planned. He wants you to take action or the universe wants you to take action. Okay, um, let's get an angel card for Leo. What is Leo's angel number, please? Let's get an angel number for Leo. What does Leo need right now? Okay. We have 1212 duality. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay, that's beautiful. Your affirmation. I fully embrace who I am and I allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me. Okay, if you made it this far, Leo, and you claim this message, Type in the message in the comment section, 1212, 12, um, your angel numbers, okay? If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Uh, I have them all in a playlist, so you'll be able to find them very easily. Take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for more messages, okay? And until your next reading, Leo. Oh, that's my stomach. My stomach is growling. Okay. <laughs> Many blessings, Leo. Love and light.